In 2004, the Dover, Pennsylvania School Board was trying to push an intelligent design textbook into the science classrooms. But angry parents and teachers decided they had to stop it and sue the school board. They contacted us, the National Center for Science Education, in order to help prepare their case. We knew that the textbook of Pandas and People was simply creationism in disguise, but the question was how could we prove it? We started excavating through the history of the book, and it turns out that of Pandas and People actually has a very interesting evolution of its own. The first piece of evidence we found was in a 1981 Christian student newspaper. It announced that a creation science textbook was being edited by the same man who would later edit of Pandas and People. This clue led our legal team to subpoena all the drafts of of Pandas and People, where we found even more proof of its link to that creation science textbook in the form of two drafts of the book. One version said, creation means that various forms of life begin abruptly through the agency of an intelligent creator. With their distinctive features already intact, fish with fins and scales, birds with feathers, beaks and wings, etc. The second version says, intelligent design means that various forms of life begin abruptly through an intelligent agency. With their distinctive features already intact, fish with fins and scales, birds with feathers, beaks and wings, etc. But here's the kicker. The first draft was written prior to a 1987 Supreme Court decision declaring it unconstitutional for creationism to be taught in science classes. The second draft was written immediately after. What's clear is that the editors of these versions simply changed the language to bypass the Supreme Court decision. More than that, we found that the editors making these revisions had actually been pretty sloppy in some cases. On one page, we found a very peculiar word, see design proponents. It became very clear that they had just done a lazy or hasty cut and paste job. And unfortunately for them, the word see design proponents was the missing link and proof that intelligent design is no more than creationism in disguise. The judge in the Dover trial was convinced as well and ruled that intelligent design had no place in the science classroom. Greetings, my name is Casey Luskin and I'm here on behalf of Discovery Institute representing our nearly 1,000 supporters and friends in Texas as well as more than 2,000 Texans who have signed our academic freedom petition calling for the right of teachers and students to discuss both the scientific strengths and weaknesses of evolution. Contrary to claims that you may have heard, we do not support the teaching of creationism, nor do we favor putting intelligent design, which is different from creationism, into the Texas science standards. 